Welcome to fourth grade reading. This is lesson 170. This is the very last lesson. We're finishing the book. Um, and so you guys sh should have read to Let's see. Looks like we may not have read as far as we should have last time. So let me double check that. All right, so um, unless I wrote it on the page and you actually did read 379, I've got you guys ending last time on 369. So um, uh, if you finished to 379, then that's fine. We're, I'm going to start you guys off on 380, and so if you are behind and need to go back and finish the story um, about, let's see, something really important, if you need to finish that story and the poem Because of Thy Great Bounty, I'm going to get the introductions for all of that, and then... Um, but I'm going to start you guys off on the reading on page 380. All right, so something really important, you guys, I did read that introduction about Evangeline, um, remembering a valuable lesson she learned as a young girl. Um, but because of thy great bounty, this poem says, or the introduction, we have been given so many blessings that we often forget to say thank you to the Lord. This poem reminds us to be grateful, okay? So um, you're going to be reading that if you haven't already. Um, so the one for today um, is Lift Off by Jean Gurney. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift Off. Wouldn't it have been exciting to be in the rocket when those words were spoken? What would you want to see or do if you were it, went into outer space? John Glenn was an astronaut who had the opportunity to travel in space, okay? This is the last story that we're going to be reading. And so, in 1961, 20 years before the first space shuttle was launched, Russia announced the first manned space flight. One month later, the first American, Alan B. Shepard Jr., went into space for 15 minutes. The next big step in America's space program would be to send an astronaut into orbit around the Earth. The man selected for the job was John H. Glenn Jr. In those early days of manned space flight, multi-stage rockets carried the spacecraft up, each stage falling back to the Earth when its fuel was used up. After completed the, completing its orbit, the spacecraft would splash down into an ocean to be retrieved by a waiting ship. On February 20th, 1962, American newspaper headlines told the story everyone had been waiting for. Glenn orbits Earth three times safely. After 1,160 day, days of hard, painstaking effort, the men of Project Mercury had achieved their goal. There had been some discouraging setbacks during those 1,160 days, but none were more disturbing than the ones that occurred right at the end. The flight that finally proved to be so successful on February 20th had been postponed no less than 10 times. After the astro chimp Enos completed his two orbits of the Earth on November 29, 1961, man, manned flight around the Earth was next on the Project Mercury schedule. Before Enos, an unmanned capsule in the Atlas booster had performed well. There was nothing more that could be learned until a man was placed in orbit. The man chosen to make the all-important trip was Lieutenant Colonel John H. Glenn Jr. At 40, the oldest of the seven astronauts, his alternate, the astronaut who would go with Glenn should become ill, was Lieutenant Commander Malcolm Scott Carpenter. The date was first set for some time before the end of the year. It was hoped that, like the Soviet Union, the United States would be able to orbit a man in 1961. All right. So, you're going to finish the story. If you need to go back and finish the other two stories, or the poem and the, the other story, please do that. I want you guys to finish the book. I want you guys to hear the ending of each of these stories. Um, and so, 
read carefully, read um, with that understanding. We've already taken our last vocab, so this could go in the trash um, for you guys. And um, you guys are done with, with almost everything. So at this point, you should probably have, um, if you're going in order, you should have penmanship um, and spelling, your spelling test, and then your health test. So um, do well, and we will see you hopefully at the picnic. If not, I'll see you sometime. So have a good rest of your day.